Hey everybody, it's Justin Wright from Zoot Media, and today I'm going to do a little video tutorial for you that I uh, was actually requested by one of my clients, and it's how to use a contact form plugin for WordPress. There's a bunch of them out there, and the one that I prefer to and tell everybody to use is Contact Form 7. Um, I've just been using it for so long and I really like it that I guess I just never really figured, you know, why change. And it still works. It works with the most recent version of WordPress and it lets you manage multiple contact forms. So it's perfect for me. And the only downside is sometimes people are a little confused when they install it because they can't figure out what you're supposed to do with it. So we're gonna, I'm going to walk you through that today. So here we go. So if you haven't already installed Contact Form 7, just go to Plugins and click on Add New. And we will go ahead and search for the plugin using Contact Form 7. It's usually the second result. And just click on Install. And then click Install Now one more time. And it should only take like 10 seconds max before it's done. And then before it'll actually be able to use it, go ahead and click on Activate Plugin. Alrighty, we're ready to roll. So the first thing you'll notice with Contact Form 7 is it actually adds its own section down here on the navigation menu. So all you can do is click on Edit. There's no other options. but this is where you can actually control the contact forms that you create. So when you first come in here, you'll notice that there's already a contact form created, which is the default one. And I always use the default form to kind of build my form since it makes it easy to copy and paste stuff. So the first thing you'll want to do is hover over where it says contact form one and give it a name that's a little more descriptive, especially if you're going to be using more than one form for various pages. Okay, and now it's time to actually decide what we want to have in the form. So by default it's going to have your name, your email, a subject, a message, and then a submit button. And the only thing that's actually going to be in the body of the email down here is the your message box, so whatever anybody types. Everything else is stuck over here in the from field and the subject field. So whatever somebody types in the subject, for example, will automatically show up in the subject of the email that you get as a result from this form. So it works really simply. I mean, the your name, your email, subject, your message, and then the send is exactly how the form is going to look on a page. So everything in this box is the form, and then everything down here is what actually happens as a result of the form. So the message body is the email body, and then these are all the fields that you can kind of specify for different things. So if you want to change anything, you can actually just type right into this box. So like if you wanted to say your first name, you can actually just type your first name and it'll automatically put that on the form. And what you'll see is there's always these little brackets with code inside them, and these are the inputs that actually create the form itself. So text for example says that this is a text field called your name and then if I wanted the your name input to be shown in the actual body of the email I could just copy it and paste it down here in the body and then you have to make sure to get rid of the text part because that's just telling you what telling it what type of form to use so then all you're left with is your name so anytime somebody enters something in the your name field it'll automatically show up down here now in the body of your email. And what I like to do is I like to add a little bit of text before it because by default it's just going to show whatever they entered. If you do it like this, the email will actually say first name and then it'll input the data that they enter. You can do that for all of them if you want. So that's basically how you control it. If you want to have a rule set up, if you get a lot of email, um, you can create a separate, like a different subject other than something that somebody specifies. You might put like new form, you know, and then like a number and then create a rule that says any email that has one, two, three, four in the subject, you know, put in the contact form folder. 
So that's how you can manage all your submissions. If you do get a lot of them and you want them to be kind of easy to navigate through, I would suggest putting a random number in the subject or a phrase and then create a rule for that. And then that way you can actually get rid of the subject field since you don't really need that from anybody. And if you want to add more stuff to your contact form, you can use the generate tag button over here. And these are all the different options. And you can do file uploads, you can do you know a captcha, a quiz, radio buttons, check boxes, drop downs. And they all work basically the same way. Like if I wanted to have a check box, um, you can either specify if you want it to be required, you can give it a name if you want. And the only thing you really have to do here is you have to put in a few choices. So and make sure to put them on separate lines, otherwise it'll it'll make it one big option. And then over here you can decide if people should be able to click on only one of them or if they can check as many as they want. And then all we have to do is use this code down here. So what I like to do is just copy and paste one of the existing fields and then put it where you want it to be in your form. And then just change the your message part to, you know, whatever you want this field to be called. And then come over here, take your code bring it back over here and paste it where the copied code was and that will automatically put the checkboxes now under choose option and then we also have to put that code down here so that the form knows where to actually put the information and don't forget to check out the first word which is checkbox that's what the form uses to tell what type of form to create so we now have checkbox, first name, and a message. So it'll tell us what they checked, their first name, and their message. So now we have to make sure to come down here and click on save. And we should be all set. So what we need to do now is copy this code that they give you here. And we have to put it somewhere in a page or a post. So Here's what we'll do. I'll go into my pages and I'll go to the contact page, which I already have created, and I actually already know where I want to put the form. So all I have to do is paste the code here. And I think you can do it with the visual editor or the HTML editor. Let's try it. And then just hit update. Now here's what the page looked like before. Now if I refresh it, the form should show up. So there's your form. And there's first name, your email, this is where they can check their boxes. And here's the message. So it's really simple to set up. And if you spend a little time just playing around with the features in here, you'll kind of get a good habit of knowing how to use it. You know, like you can come in here and change send to submit you know whatever you want get it now you know you can put whatever you want and if I save it it'll automatically make the changes on the page without having to actually go back in there so get it now so it's really easy and I recommend you use this um, for any of your WordPress blogs or websites it's my favorite one um, there are a few others out there but I like to stick with what I know and I really like this one so I suggest you give it a try that's it for today. Take care.